Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every single one of you. It's Hunter's Point here with another video. Uh, I was going to give you guys a news update tonight, but I feel that the Lord's just led me to go in a little bit of a different direction here for this evening. Uh, I just came back inside for my nature walk a few minutes ago, and, you know, when I was on my nature walk, it made me think of something that happened when I was working at the store today, all right? So I actually have a praise report to share with you guys, and I'd prefer to talk about something positive tonight rather than kind of getting into the news going on in relations to the coronavirus and kind of other stuff like that. So I wanted to stick to something a little bit more positive for this evening, so... With that being said, let me share the praise report, all right? So when I was working at the store today, it was my 12 to 4 shift. You, for those of you who don't know, I work at a grocery store. I actually work in the bakery deli uh, department of it. I'm usually responsible for baking cookies, uh, apple bites, cherry bites, all the sweets. Where I'm typically baking all the sweets during uh, my four to five hour shifts, depends on the weekends. But while I was up there, there was actually a blonde woman that came in and went up to the bakery section and was asking for some meat, you know, to be cut. And she recognized me. And I wasn't sure, you know, because like with the mask on, it's really hard to recognize anyone. But even if she wasn't wearing her mask, like I don't typically remember things that happen, you know, a, a lengthier period of time ago, I suppose. But she had recognized me and she's like, you know, aren't you the one that I asked about my dog? And it took me a minute. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the woman. All right, so a couple of weeks prior, it was actually Thanksgiving. Uh, I was doing one of my nature walks, as I do every day, and, um, you know, this blonde woman and her daughter were actually riding around in their car, and they stopped me in the middle of the road to ask if I had seen their dog, right? So their dog, which they said was like a medium-sized bulldog, I guess escaped its collar and ran away from home on Thanksgiving. This all happened Thanksgiving Day when, when they stopped me in the middle of the road as I was going on my walk. And they had asked me if I had seen the dog. And of course I said no because I hadn't seen any dog at that point on my walk. So uh, what I did was I told them that you know if I had seen anything that I would quickly try to flag them down. Which of course I never ended up seeing anything. But more importantly I told them that I would pray for them. I would pray for them to be able to find their dog and that there was no harm done to the dog or anything like that. So I told the lovely lady that I'd pray for her to be able to find her dog. And uh, we kind of just left it at that. I never ended up seeing them again until today. Right. And flash forward. Let's see. Thanksgiving was back on the 26th, I believe. So it hasn't quite been two weeks. It's been more like um, well over a week and a half. But yeah, when she came in and asked, you know, if, if I was the one because she had recognized me and I told her like, yeah, you know, I, I mentioned that I'd pray for you. And I asked her if she found the dog and praise God, she found the dog. She actually found the dog on Thanksgiving Day. She actually found the dog the same day that the dog escaped, right? Because she said what happened was the dog escaped. I was on my nature walk and she was driving around, found me, stopped me in the middle of the road, asked if I had seen the dog. I told her I would pray for her. And then she immediately drove off. And 20 minutes after that happened, she found the dog. And I think it's funny how she said it was 20 minutes between the moment where she asked me and the moment she found the dog because that's exactly how long I was praying for on my nature walk. It's funny how our God works in mysterious ways. Praise God she found her dog. Uh, I was praying really intensely for her on my nature walk that day that she would be able to find her dog and that nothing wrong happened to the dog or anything like that. And uh, praise God she found the dog. So um, I just thought that was so amazing because it had been like well over a week and a half. So like I didn't recognize her at all. I didn't really remember a whole lot of the situation. Uh, until she came to the store today and kind of briefly reminded me of things and it just, you know, it got the wheels churning and made me remember everything. I'm just happy she was able to find her dog. And she said that her dog was fine. Nothing happened to the dog. She found the dog again approximately 20 minutes after stopping me on my nature walk that day. And again, this all happened on Thanksgiving Day. So praise God that she was able to find the dog and that the family was able to be properly reunited with their pet. Uh, praise God for that. I just think that's so awesome. So, um, again, I was going to give you all an update, but I just wanted to keep it simple. Come on here, give you all a praise report, because I don't really get the opportunity to come on here and report on a whole lot of positive stuff. 
because unfortunately doing what I do, constant world news updates and coronavirus updates, we're typically talking about some very serious things and they're not always very positive. So it's nice to kind of get a break from that, get to come on here, do a video, sharing a praise report. So I hope that all blessed you and provided you with some kind of edification or encouragement because uh, I know it did me. It definitely brought me some encouragement at a time in my shift today where I really needed encouragement the most. So praise God. All the gl glory, praise, and honor goes to the Most High God that that family was able to find their precious bulldog. So I just think that's awesome. So yeah, that's the praise report. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to give you all the gospel. Again, try to keep things as simple as possible today and then head on out. All right, so the gospel is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 to 4. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, in that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. If you're watching this video and you're a non-believer, if you've yet to believe on the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for your salvation and eternal security, that's all you have to do. All right, may today be the day of salvation for you. If you believe in your heart that Christ died on the cross, shedding his precious blood for the remission of all mankind's sin, past, present, and future, and that he was buried in the tomb three days, proving he was dead, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures for your salvation and eternal security. And again, why? Because of our justification. We're saved. We're justified by faith alone in the finished redemptive work of Jesus Christ alone. All right, We're saved by grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone. Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that is not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Please believe on Christ if you haven't. That's really all you have to do. There's no requirements. It's not about getting water baptized. It's not about speaking in tongues or following the Mosaic laws. None of that saves you. Okay? Are those good things to do? Of course, right? You should strive to be the best person that you can possibly be. That doesn't save you, though. Okay, you're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. All right, that simple. So again, I wanted to kind of keep things a little bit more simple tonight because I'm really not feeling that great. So if you if you all could please continue praying for me, uh, for joy, peace, wisdom, health, comfort, and for the sinuses and allergies to clear up, uh, I'd gre greatly appreciate and covet your prayers as always. All right, so I'm probably just going to leave things there and keep it simple. So I'll see you guys in the next video should the Lord tarry. Otherwise, God bless. All right, take care, you guys.